students in this part of the video i will continue with lesson 2 where we discuss about the modifications of rules here in this video the modification of adventitious and fibrous root system will be discussed as you will know the different purposes of the modification of tap roots similarly the modification of the adventitious roots and fibrous roots also have different purposes upon the plant body so let's discuss the purposes now here the different purposes of the modification of adventitious roots and fibrous roots are first that is storage of food so here also they becomes flexy and in that the types of the adventitious roots and fibrous roots are the tuberous roots fasciculated roots nodulous roots moniliform roots and the annulated roots then next comes for the extra mechanical support so mechanical support as we know that the roots it provide encourage or fixation of the whole plant body into the soil but some plants they require some extra mechanical support to hold the upper plant body in that the roots they help the whole plant body and in that the different types of roots that undergoes modification are the prop roots uh, stilt root climbing roots buttress roots etc similarly there are some other modifications also that the uh, adventitious and the fibrous roots they perform such as the assimilatory roots parasitic roots floating roots epiphytic roots reproductive roots etc so with the help of diagram here i'll try to explain you this different types of the modifications of the adventitious and the fibrous roots before discussing about the modification of the adventitious roots and the fibrous roots let's keep one thing in mind that as these two types of roots they are same in their structure so these are discussed under the same head now let's at first consider the modifications on the purpose of storage of food on the modification of the adventitious roots the first comes the tuberous root and here the example is that of sweet potato here they do not have any kind of definite shape same is that of the modification of tap root and they also bear adventitious buds and therefore it also acts as a reproductive root second is the fasciculated root which is found in case of uh, ornamental plant which is called as dahlia and and vegetable which is called as asparagus so they here as you can see that the fibrous or the adventitious roots they get swollen because of storage of food and they remains in cluster that is why it is called as fasciculated root then comes the nodulous roots of the mango ginger in assamese it is called as am ada so here the root tips of the adventitious roots so they become swollen and therefore the name it is given as nodulous roots then comes the moniliform roots so here in case of the moniliform roots also swellings can be seen because of the storage of food but here the swellings it comes alternately where one part is swollen and the in the next interval it becomes constricted and hence it gives a beaded appearance and therefore the other name of the moniliform root are the beaded roots which is seen in case of bitter gourd bitter gourd or momordica cerentia then comes the annulated roots so annulated it means ring like so here the roots become thickened and it resembles like that of rings so in the diagram as you can see that there are many ring like patterns over the epic quenha root the next purpose for the modification of the adventitious or the fibrous roots is for mechanical support of the plant body so here we will find some plants which seeks mechanical support 
So first one is the prop root of banyan tree. So in the diagram as you can see that many branch like patterns they are coming right from the aerial branches of the plant or the tree. But these are not stem. These are the roots which are generally adventitious in their function and they have come or arise from the branches and they have come in contact with the soil and forms like that of a pillar. Similar is the steel root of rhizophora and this also we can see in case of sugarcane, bamboo etc where the plant body it is slender and longer so they need some extra support and in case of the steel root the nodes of the stem so they develop the adventitious roots and these adventitious roots when they come in contact with the soil they gives extra support to the long and the slender plant body of bamboo sugarcane penicillin etc then comes the buttress roots of peepal tree so this is a common view for many of the bigger trees where the lower part of the root they becomes quite woody and they comes outside the soil surface and this kind of roots this is called as the buttress roots which is generally found in most of the bigger trees and last one this is the climbing roots of black pepper so many plants are there so they climb onto the support with the help of the roots and such type of roots are called as the climbing roots so here it is seen in case of black pepper then beetle leaf etc now let's come to the other vital functions that the root system performs in case of some other plants and such type of functions it can be for photosynthesis it can be as well as harmful say for example the assimilatory roots of tenophyllum also in man, many of the orchids or some other plants such as strepa and tenospora they bear uh, photosynthetic roots so the structure that is green in color here so these are the roots actually in case of uh, orchid variety which is called as tenophyllum so here they does the function of photosynthesis similarly this is the parasitic root of roots of dodder or cascuta these are parasitic in function because they penetrate over the roots of other plants so that they can attain the uh, food and the nutrients from the other plants as, and for this uh, they kills the other plant. So here how they penetrate into the roots or the stem of the other plants it is seen in the diagram. Then comes the floating roots of Pistia. Many of the aquatic plants where they are immersed over the water surface, which is one of them is the Pistia species. They bears the floating roots where they produce a special arenchyma tissue, which helps them to float over the water surface. Similarly, some others are also there. Then comes the reproductive roots of the sweet potato. As it is already said that some roots they also have the function of reproduction of vegetative propagation. Or we can say that parent, uh, we can say a special word for this that is perination. So here the roots of sweet potato or the dahlia they can develop a new plant body right from their swollen part of the root system then comes the leaf roots of strawberry similarly bryophyllum so they also bears leaf roots which ultimately helps them in the purpose of reproduction so these are some other functions that the root they bears over the plant body when this does some kind of special functions in order the plant to survive so after discussing the different types of modifications of these roots now it will be easier for you all to learn the different functions that the root performs the roots 
they performs two types of function one is called as the primary function or which we can call it to be the main function which is performed by the roots of all the plants and the other one that is the secondary function or that we can say these are the special functions which only some special type of plants they perform and that we have already learned in the form of the different type of modifications now let's at first try to understand the primary functions of the roots see any plant body it is the roots these are the parts of the plant body which remains anchored to the soil and the anchorage of these roots to the soil it keeps the whole plant body erect or we can say that the root system it supports the plant body the upper plant body so that is the first function that it helps in the anchorage of the plant body to the soil now the next type of function which is also a very important one is the absorption of water and the minerals that is required for different physiological processes that takes place within the plant body the absorption of water it is done by the root hairs of the root system which we have already discussed there in the parts of the root that the root hairs that is generally found in the uh, region of elongation and these root hairs they absorb the water and they sends the water to the upper part of the plant body so this is the next important function that is absorption of water and mineral salts now the third and the important function again that is about the conduction of water as we know that the water it goes from the downward part of the plant body to the upper part of the plant body now to send this water molecules from the lower part of the plant body that is right from the root to the upper part that means to the uh, leaves so the root they develop a root pressure and this root pressure it helps the water molecule to go or to do the upward movement in that way the root system that also helps in the conduction of water and mineral salts similarly the roots they also do the translocation of the food and the solids to different part of the root system as the roots we know that they cannot prepare their own food so translocation of the solids that is also very much required in case of the root system so these are the primary functions in the root system now let's come to the secondary functions of the root system the secondary functions so we have already discussed about the secondary function in the form of the different type of modifications so in that we have found the different purposes of modification first one that is the storage of food plants like the radish plant carrot plant then the plants like dahlia then comes uh, the momordica so these plants they store their food product in the root system and in that they have the swollen roots so that is another function of the root system which is done by some plants not all plants but some plants according to their need so that is the first first secondary function that is the storage of food again the other secondary function is that that they provide extra mechanical support to the plant body as we have seen that the plants like banyan tree then the bamboo tree or the sugar can plant so these are some plants where they need some extra support to support the whole plant body apart from the general roots that is already present there on the lower part of the plant body they need some extra mechanical support so that is also done by the different type of roots and mainly there comes the adventitious roots similarly there are other miscellaneous functions that the root system it bears say for example the root system they have one harmful function that is they are parasitic in nature so plants like dodder or cascuta so there the root system that is a harmful one 
Similarly, some roots also does the function of photosynthesis, which we call it as the assimilatory root. Similarly, some of the roots, they also serve as the reproductive organ or the reproductive organ for vegetative propagation. So in that, the roots, they also take the function of reproduction, not sexually, but this is the vegetative mode of reproduction, where they can give rise to a different plant body. Then comes the other one such as nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation it is done by some plants such as the leguminous plant with the help of a bacteria. So this bacteria which is called as the rhizobium it infects the roots of such plants and in that they fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere in the roots and therefore it is said that the leguminous plants they are rich in protein as we know that the proteins it is rich in nitrogen so these leguminous plants or the pulses that we eat they are generally rich in protein similarly there are other functions also such as some acts as the aerial root as for example in case of uh, orchids these orchids as we know that they are epiphytes so in case of them the roots they are again specialized to absorb the moisture from the atmosphere itself and the very important one which is a secondary function as well that is about the exchange of gases the roots they also provide aeration or exchange of gases in case of some plants and those type of plants are the mangrove plants which are present in the mangrove forest near the coastal areas so these are some important functions of the root system. So in this we discussed about the primary functions which are the main functions and it is generally for all the plants and there are secondary functions as well. So with this we end the today's class and I hope that you have understood the whole root system right from the characteristics to the functions and if you have any doubt then feel free to clarify your doubts thank you